Hemlock woolly adelgid is an invasive insect pest of hemlock trees. It actually threatens hemlocks across a lot of eastern North America, including right here in New York. My name is Jason Denham. I'm a forester with DEC, and I like to call myself a forest health specialist. Well, you might see us out there uh, looking at hemlock branches, holding them right in front of our face as we pull them down from the trees to try and survey for, for the pest itself. Oh, here's some good hemlock woolly adelgid ovisacs right here. So that's these cottony uh, puff balls that are attached to the twig right at the base of the needle. Not out on the needle, but right near the base. The hemlock is a foundation species. It's an essential component in any habitat that it grows in. It provides a, a dense shaded canopy that uh, moderates stream temperatures so that trout and other aquatic animals can thrive there. It prevents erosion on stream banks. Along rivers, it also absorbs nutrients and other pollutants that come from, for example, agricultural runoff. So it absorbs a lot of those pollutants before they enter our waterways. New York has more eastern hemlocks than any other state in the U.S., with the highest concentration of hemlocks in the Adirondack Park. The DEC is working to slow the spread of hemlock woolly adelgid into the Adirondacks, where it will have a profound impact on the ecology and aesthetics of the park if left unmanaged. Then look on the data sheet that for a entry that says DEC no is working closely with partners both to track the spread of hemlock woolly adelgid across the state as well as to uh, work on uh, biological control, which is simply just using natural enemies of a pest to help control its population, as well as uh, chemical controls where appropriate to try and keep hemlock alive across the landscape. The chemical treatment for hemlock woolly adelgid is considered a short-term management strategy by DEC. We use two different chemicals to treat hemlock woolly adelgid. The first offers a quick knockdown of the adelgids that are already living in the tree and offers protection for about a year afterwards. The second chemical we use takes months, if up to a year, to get through the entire tree and offers long-term protection, up to seven years. So that chemical is better for trees that are currently uninfested, but have the potential to become infested in the near future. We actually have a great partnership with Cornell University and their Hemlock Initiative, uh, especially in the, the realm of biological control, which is just simply using the natural enemies of a pest to, in order to control it. Biocontrol has been shown to be the most effective solution to controlling populations of hemlock woolly adelgid. A few more years of research are needed though until biocontrol efforts can be established. Uh, right now we're helping to fund a, a biocontrol laboratory at Cornell which is going to be raising uh, species which are predators of hemlock woolly adelgid to be released here right here in New York State. And uh, they're also great partners for us in, in terms of monitoring the status of hemlock woolly adelgid across the state and uh, reaching out to the public to help uh, inform them and get more volunteer help. Like what we did at Prospect was just Folks who are interested in can, uh, can take a volunteer IMAP training and help to uh, track and report occurrences of hemlock woolly adelgid as well as a number of other invasive pests and invasive species across the state. And that's a great help that's to us. I think we have to get down closer to the water to find a bunch of them. By reporting new locations, you help us know where the pest actually is, and you may actually uh, report a location where it would be important to uh, take some sort of control or management action to slow the spread of the pest across the state.